Hello, so in this video I'm going to share with you the biggest secret when it comes to getting rid of driving anxiety. I'm going to tell you something that many driving instructors, therapists and all kinds of experts get wrong and this is the number one thing that holds people back when they want to get rid of their fear of driving. You see the thing is that many people have this idea that they've got to do something to get rid of it. They have this idea that they've got to find some answer or some solution. They've got to eat differently, they've got to drink differently, they've got to drive differently, they've got to hold the wheel differently, they've got to learn some new technique or method that's going to help them. None of those things will work and this is what baffles many people including experts who think they know it all and they say I can get rid of all this and all that and you go to them and it doesn't do anything because they themselves fall into the same trap of trying to do something to get rid of it. So if you don't need to do something, what is it that you need to do? Well, what I'm doing at the moment is being really careful because this road is really narrow, as you can see. But what do you need to actually do to get rid of driving anxiety and to take yourself out of the darkness and into the light? Well, the thing is, you don't need to do anything. And that's the thing. All you have to actually do, if you want to put it like that, is you have to, instead of learning something new and different, you have to find out what's been stopping you from doing what you want to do. Now think about it like this. People are not stupid, okay? People know how to drive. And people know that they want to drive. And they know that it's a good thing for them to drive. So people are not stupid. So there's no point in teaching someone you need to do this or do that or do that because they already know that they want to drive. So you see what's stopping you from driving is not that you don't know what to do, it's that there is something that is stopping you from doing that and that is what you need to find and then you can fix it easily. So what do I mean by this? Can I give you an example? Well let's say for example that someone really wants to drive but what's holding them back is actually a fear of losing control. So what we do is we find out what's happened in your life that gives you that fear of losing control and it often is not that simple because often after that comes something else. So it could be that a fear of losing control comes from something else which comes from something else which comes from something else and we unravel and untie all of those knots in your life that have built up over the years and then you will be able to drive. So you see anytime you get these hypnosis videos you know listen to this track and you'll be fixed. Rubbish. Anytime somebody reads you a script you know they put you into hypnosis and they say you're walking down a beach and you go into a cave and you meet a magical warrior with a magic sword. What a load of rubbish. None of that is going to get you anywhere. When people talk about don't drink caffeine or drink more caffeine or eat different foods or do this or do that, none of that is ever going to fix it because they're looking for a solution and the solution doesn't lie in the future. It lies in the past. It's something that you've got to change about the way you're seeing your life and that is how you get rid of driving anxiety. So let me share with you something else. So this is what often happens when people come to me for a session to overcome their driving anxiety. The session starts and I ask them, out of 10, how bad is your problem? Like if it's 10 is the worst problem ever and one is you're not feeling nervous at all, where are you now? And then they all say, oh, nine or 10. We talk for about half an hour and I do what I do, I do my thing. And at the end of it, I say to people, so how do you feel about driving now? And they say, well, um, this is weird because I don't, <laughs> I don't feel bad about it at all. And I say, so if you had to go and drive a car now, what number would you be at? You were at a 10. And they say, well, one or two, I feel fine. And they cannot work out what's happened. And this is what's so funny. They spend so long looking for a solution, for an answer, for something they've got to do. You haven't got to do anything. 
you've already done all the things you need to do by learning to drive. What you've actually got to do to enable yourself to drive is simply undo all of the rubbish that's going on in your head that's stopping you from driving and that's what I do. You know many times people say to me um, we haven't started have we? And I say what do you mean we haven't started we finished? And you know this is what really gets me I love doing this and I am going to film this one day to prove this. I say to people have you got a watch on you? Have you got a clock? And they say yeah. And I say what's the time now? And I say well that's weird what's weird and I know what's coming I know what they're going to say and I say well it, it's like half an hour since we started talking but I, I thought it was like a minute and we haven't done anything and they're left there baffled and I sometimes don't speak for a minute or two and people are just scratching their head what's just happened it, I started talking to you and now half an hour is gone and I don't even remember what you said or what I've done and I just want to go and drive my car. Well, if you want to experience that, then there's a link in the description below where you can book a call with me and I'll show you how I do it. So check out these other videos on the screen for more help with your driving anxiety. Thanks for watching. Do please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you again soon for more videos.